In this question, we'll find a function output and function input in a story context. You purchase 130 bags of peanuts for $16 and plan to sell them at the festival for 68 cents each. Your profit can be determined by the function p of x equals 0.68x minus 16, where p of x represents your profit and x represents the number of bags of peanuts sold. Notice how the profit function is a linear function in slope-intercept form. Our first question is to calculate p of 56, which means you want to find the function value when the input or x value is 56. So we'll substitute 56 for x in our profit function. So p of 56 is equal to 0 0.68 times 56 minus 16. And now we'll go to the calculator to evaluate this. I've already done this to save some time. Notice how it comes out to 22.08, which is our profit when we sell 56 bags of peanuts. Now we are asked to write our answer as an ordered pair. Remember the ordered pair would be in parentheses where we have the input comma the output, or in our case, x comma p of x. So we have open parenthesis 56 comma 22.08, close parenthesis. Number three, we want to complete this sentence. The profit from selling blank bags of peanuts is blank dollars. As we already said earlier, the input x is the number of bags of peanuts, so the profit from selling 56 bags of peanuts is the function value p of 56, which is $22.08. Let's also look at this graphically. Here's a graph of our profit function. Notice when the input is 56, this would be the point on our function. Here, and notice how the function value along the vertical axis at this point, we now know is 22.08. Again, the coordinates of this point are 56 comma 22.08. Now there's a second part to this question. The next part asks us to find x when p of x equals 39.08. So notice here, they're giving us the output of the function value, and we're asked to find the input, or x. So to find x, we'll substitute 39.08 for p of x and solve for x, which would give us the equation 39.08 equals 0.68x minus 16. So to solve for x, we'd add 16 to both sides. So we have 55, 0.08 equals 0.68x, since this is zero. And now we want to divide both sides by 0.68. So x is equal to this quotient. Which is equal to 81. So if p of x equals 39.08, then x equals 81. We're asked to write the answer as an ordered pair again. Remember the input of the x value comes first, so we'd have open parenthesis 81 comma the output or function value of 39.08. And now we're asked to complete the sentence again. It says if the profit was blank dollars, then the number of bags of peanuts sold was blank. So the profit is the output or function value of 39.08 at $39.08. So if this was the profit, then the number of bags sold was the input or x value of 81. Let's look at this one graphically as well. We were given the profit or function value of 39.08, which should be here right below 40. So the point on the function with this profit would be here. And notice how by solving our equation, we were able to find the input or x value, which we found to be 81. Again, the point here is the point 81 comma 39.08. I hope you found this helpful.